Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's January 8th, 2020. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day indeed. All right, uh, <clears throat> so this is what happened. You're probably like, holy shit, what's been going on? Um, all right, so last Friday, the U.S. took out Qasem Soleimani, right? So after that occurred, we were like, okay, retaliation is most likely going to occur. Uh, it's just how severe it's going to be. When's it going to be? That's what we didn't know. Okay. Uh, they put Qasem Soleimani in the ground yesterday. Okay. Uh, and as they were putting him in the ground, first off, it took forever because there was a stampede uh, where a lot of people died. Last time I checked, I thought it was about 50 or 60 people were killed in that stampede, which is terrible. Um so people died at a funeral, and I mean, that's awful. Um, and then we were sitting there holding our breath. Uh, we heard about military being on high alert. We didn't know what the hell was going on, you know. All we knew was that Iran had been making movements. We knew that the U.S. had been making movements. Um, we were just waiting to see what was Iran going to do, okay. Trump made a, a bunch of threats over the past few days. Uh, he went from saying that we were going to strike them disproportionately to saying we're going to strike 52 different targets. He listed a bunch of different targets or a, a broad spectrum of those different targets. Uh, but once again, we did not know what was going to occur, right? So last night, about 30 minutes before the strikes began, I made a video and I stated, hey, we need to watch for these strikes. We need to watch tonight very closely. The next 24 hours is critical. 30 minutes later, I'm sitting there at the grocery store, uh, and I find out, hey, missiles are flying, rockets are flying. Uh, there's a difference between missiles and rockets, by the way, and I feel like people don't understand that. Um, but at first, we were told rockets, and we found out it was actually missiles from Iran, okay? So, of course, people on Twitter are in a tizzy, you know? There was a lot of disinformation all day going on, uh, so we took a step back, took a breath. We really made sure that, hey, this was the response from Iran. It ended up being the response from Iran, okay? Uh, now, the number of missiles that were fired differs. Uh, Pentagon, I believe, saying 15. I've seen other sources saying it's more like 20 to 25, uh, that some did fail, okay? A Ukrainian uh, commercial jet uh, was shot down, or sorry, First, they came out and said it was technical failure. Then they said it was engine failure. Uh, then Iran would not give up the black box. Then the Ukrainian embassy came out and said, okay, we're not ready to say that this was a technical failure. A lot of people believe Iran probably accidentally shot this uh, commercial airliner down, right? Um, so that's, that's a whole nother subject. That's a whole nother subject uh, that I'm not going to get into right now. Just, just so you know, that occurred all lives on lost. Uh, Ukraine is sending a search and rescue team uh, to Iran. Okay, so prayers to everyone who was on that flight. Casualties of war. It's really, really terrible. It looks like right now that Iran did shoot it down, but like I said, take it with a grain of salt. Okay. Um, so basically, Iran decides to fire missiles as a response at U.S. assets, and they they started hitting. Uh, Al-Assad base in uh, Iraq. Uh, and they hit a, another base. I, I can, It's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, kind of brain farting here. But basically, they launched missiles at us. They uh, let the Iraqis know that they were going to do this, uh, which helped. There were zero, zero casualties, zero American casualties, which is fantastic. Thank God. You know, that is fantastic. It's awesome. Okay. Uh, but they still fired these missiles at the U.S. and U.S. assets, right? So, last night, a lot of people uh, said, this is it. You know, this is reminiscent of uh, when we were invading Baghdad, when the airstrikes were going on. Uh, the mainstream media was glued to this situation, okay? Um, at the time, we were told that President Trump was going to speak that evening. Uh, then we were told, okay, never mind, he's going to speak this morning, Okay. Uh, when that occurred, at that moment, when he decided not to speak, we started hearing that, hey, we don't think there's any U.S. casualties, okay? There's a lot of disinformation going around. Iranian state television put out something like there was 80 Americans who were killed. Um, a lot of what they were putting out was not true whatsoever. Um, 
But at that moment, before most of us decided to go to bed, um, we decided, hey, you know what? It looks like Trump's probably not going to respond, okay? Uh, Christopher Green of AMTV, he immediately after uh, these missiles started flying, I, I went to his channel, I went to his Twitter, and uh, he came out and stated, uh, oh my gosh, the U.S. is striking Iran as we speak. They decide to, uh, to fire missiles. I'm getting sources. Sources are telling me, uh, take this to the bank. Trump is ordering strikes on Iran. Right now it's happening. They're not going to tell you it's happening, but it's happening. He's completely wrong. The guy spreads doom porn, okay? He, he, he's a fear monger. That's how he gets people to uh, join his Bitcoin class, which is a huge scam, okay? Uh, it, it, it's, it's insane. Uh, AMTV used to actually put out real information, and now they don't. kind of pisses me off. Uh, oh, man, I don't even get me started on that. But basically, you had a bunch of people who were saying, you know, how can the U.S. not respond to this, you know? And uh, at first, I was one of those people also. I said, dude, this is, this is pretty... The magnitude of this strike could be huge. You know, it went on for about an hour. Okay, we talked. We we heard about multiple waves of ballistic missiles being fired, and I I, I personally said, dude, it's a miracle if no one was killed in this. It's a miracle. Um, but the Iranians let the Iraqis know, hey, these missiles were coming. The Iraqis then in turn let the Americans know, hey, these uh, missiles are coming. Okay, so a lot of people are wondering if there's some backdoor stuff going on. Uh, but then Trump eased all of our uh, mysterious minds this morning. He went in front of the nation, and he had a big backdrop behind him. He had U.S. generals and admirals. He had the Secretary of Defense, the uh, Secretary of State, okay? Basically, uh, he was surrounded by very powerful individuals, okay? It was a very powerful moment, you know? It, it showed how powerful and what the, the, how large the gravity was of the situation, okay? Okay. Um, so huge, huge. Um, <clears throat> but what he said kind of surprised a lot of people, okay? Um, because he still seemed like he was taking a hard line against Tehran, a hard line against Iran. Um, stated that, hey, there's going to be uh, sanctions placed on Iran, even greater sanctions played on, placed on Iran right after that speech, Okay. Uh, he did not really extend a handout to Iran. He basically called them the biggest uh, funder of terrorism. Um, he talked about killing Qasem Soleimani. You know, um, he said that the U.S. has the greatest military in the world. They don't want to use it, but they they could if they wanted to. Um, basically, it was more threats. Uh, didn't really leave the door open for diplomacy. Uh, was more about how they how he orchestrated the killing of Qasem Soleimani, how uh, the missile damage uh, was minimal, there was no U.S. casualties, how Iran keeps on acting a fool and they need to change their behavior, you know. Uh, and so a lot of people looked at this and said, you know, I, I'm com completely confused because over the past 48 to 72 hours, the Trump that we've heard was if they do a single damn thing, the U.S. will respond in a disproportionate manner, okay? So Iran decides to send these missiles over the top, and uh, Trump doesn't really do anything, okay? And you've got, pe you've got multiple different people, um, and this is like the categories they fall in. On one side, they're like, what the hell, this is bullshit. Why is he's making America look weak? And then some people are saying, hey, this is really smart by him. You know, he took out the number two guy in Iran and Iran fired some missiles that didn't really do anything. And they're going to think it's a win on their part. But really, it's Trump's win. You know, this is an election year. He doesn't want to get into a war, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, where I stand is a little bit in the middle. I think it's uh, smart on Trump's part, but it's it's smart on his part if he didn't already lobbed that rhetoric over to Iran the past 72 hours, telling them if, if they do anything, he's going to strike. It's kind of more of fire and fury uh, that he had with North Korea. It's just with Iran. No one's going to really take him seriously, you know? And I thought, okay, he took out Qasem Soleimani. People are going to take him seriously now. But he's just backtracking, you know? Uh, so while I think, hey, no war with Iran, that is fantastic, great, we, we should have not had to be in that position in the first place, 
okay? And so if Iran wants their small victory, let them have it. Let them have it. But don't, for the three days prior to the response, say, if you do anything, we're going to blow you to kingdom come, you know, and then come out and say, more sanctions. You know, it just makes you look weak, and it's going to embolden Iran. You know, that's just personally my take on it. I'd like to hear yours. I don't know. Um... You know, as more information about this comes out, we need to watch the proxies. We need to watch the proxies because they have not responded yet, and they said they're going to. Unless Iran keeps an, uh, them on a very short leash, they most likely will over the next couple days. Um, so we need to watch that. But I would love to hear what you guys have to think about this whole situation. Let me know. Uh, I will read them, and uh, I will answer them. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you what I think. Um, that's all I have for right now. I'll let you guys know about more information that comes in. Grab a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies. God bless.